Hello everybody and welcome back to Modded Minecraft with Red. I have started getting responses in the uh, last episode to uh, what you guys wanted me to do for the 100th episode of LSPDFR. Uh, you know, I did see one comment there about a face reveal. Uh, that would be great if I had a camera that was quality enough uh well first off if i had a camera at all uh that i could do it or a camera that uh, was quality enough that you know i actually could uh you know provide a face cam for you guys so i have heard that thought uh and that is something that i have thought about uh, doing possibly in the future once I, you know, can get the income and whatnot, uh, finances to buy a, uh, camera. So that right now is, uh, something that's probably going to get tabled, uh, for the time being, just because we don't know, or I don't know when I will be able to get said camera. Plus I really don't have the, uh, space to Put up a camera. I uh, not the space to put up a camera, but the uh, yeah, the the backdrop or anything like that. Uh, and I would have to do a lot of research on how to do like a, a face cam reveal and stuff like that. So that's like I said, it's something that I'm not uh, you know opposed to, but at this point in time, it's not all that feasible. So keep the suggestions coming in guys. I appreciate every one of them and Let's get started with what we are going to do today if we can talk We are actually going to work on a wireless system. I'm tired of having to run all the way back up here just to create stuff or get stuff out of the system so we are going to work on a wireless Terminal for our applied energistic system. So first things first, we're going to need one of these wireless terminals, which is going to take a dense energy cell, which is going to take eight energy cells, which is going to be some fluid dust, some charged, some sort of certus crystal, and some quartz glass. Let's see how many of that stuff we have. Uh, let's uh, put the recipe in. So we're going to need eight of these. Let's see if we can't get eight of them. Nope. Can we make glass? Quartz glass. We can make quartz glass. Let's make about 20 of those. And flux. Dust. We do not know how to make fluid dust. I forget if we can grind fluid crystals down. Or pure fluid crystals down. We cannot, so that's fine. Uh, let's put those, but you know what? We have something that is even better than that. We'll just come down here. And we will just pull out some fluids. Ah, that should be plenty for now. So there we go. That's uh, another nice thing that I kind of missed is our cheaty system that we have down there for our, uh, you know, creation of stuff. Let's get these pure fluid crystals out here and use regular fluid crystals for now. We got a ton of those. So there's the eight of those we need. And come on, red shift let the question mark. There we go. There's the energy cell that we need. Excellent. We need an ME terminal. Do we have everything? No, we do not. But we know how to make those. So we will make one of those. There's our ME terminal. And then lastly, need we need one of these wireless receivers which is a fluids pearl, which is fluids, dust, and crystals around an ender pearl. We can do that, no problem. And then we need some iron, some quartz fiber, and the fluids pearl. There's the wireless receiver. 
We're actually going to need two of these, so let's whip up another one real quick. There's two wireless receivers, excellent. So now we can make our terminal. Good lord, red, learn to shift click. There we go. Alright, cool. So that takes care of that. Well, we still can't do anything with this because, well, it's not linked. And we can't link it to anything because we need a few things to link it to. First off, we need to get a wireless access point. We're also going to need some of these boosters, which takes ender pearl powder or ender pearl dust, which is just ground ender pearls. So let's see how we're doing on ender pearls. Oh, we're doing fine on ender pearls. Let's grab about half stack of them. And we will throw them in our doo -doo -doo crusher. Will that work? Will you do it? No, you won't. Okay. Uh, let's put them in our side mill. That should work. Perfect. About eight of those. And let's just... Come into Applied Energistics here and take a look at what else we're going to need. Uh, we need the access point. So yeah, we need a wireless access point here. Uh, what is it called exactly? I don't remember off the top of my head. That's how long it's been. Let's see, there is the wireless terminal. We need... I don't think it's just the wireless receiver. Because it looks more like a bus. Almost like the level emitter. But, you know, it, it could just be that. I do know that we are going to need a security station. So let's build one of those, a security terminal. That's going to require a 16K and another one of these terminals. So let's get the 16K cooking. There we go. We'll come back and we will get another terminal. There we go. And let's get our ME chest. Perfect. Now we should have everything that we need. Uh, what are we missing? We are missing iron. Really? Oh, we got plenty of iron. It's just not crafted up. Let's get about 200 of that crafted up. There we go. So there is our security terminal. Perfect. And like I said, I don't think this is what we need. No, it is not. Okay, we need... What do we need, Red? I don't know. I just said, I, it's been so long. Ah, there it is. I mean, wireless access point. I knew we were going to need that. Another calculation processor, another piece of quartz fiber. And shift click. There we go. All right, now we have our wireless access point. Let's get a few of these boosters as well since we're here. And see how many we can get, 18? Uh, that should be a good start for now. And now we just need to find a centralized location to put this. Um, well, I know we have this up here, but this is connected down there. So that's not going to work because this is all a subnetwork up here. What do we have and where do we have it? We 
because I, like I said, I want to be able to access this from just about anywhere. So let's go down here into Ender Mini Form, and we'll run the table real quick. That leads off in that direction. Come on. There we go. And then we have... Okay, we have P to P here. So that doesn't help too much. And this comes all the way down. We have P to P A going out that direction. And up here. Oh, this is just our... You know, that might work. We might be able to just pop it right on right off from the ME controller here. Yeah, why don't we do that? We'll uh, just pop it right off the controller. We got a terminal down here already. So let's just get some cable. One piece. Uh, let's do smart cable. There we go. Then we will just bring the smart cable right over here and we can just put it right on the side here. Then we take our access point and stick it right on top. Cool. So that's got a range of 32 meters currently. However, we still cannot access anything even if we right click nothing, okay? If we right click nothing, device is not linked. This is where our security terminal comes in. So let's get our security terminal. And we can just put this thing right off the side of that, just like that. So now if we open it up, we can see that we've got the security terminal. If we drop this in, boom, stored energy zero, and it is linked. So right click. Device low on power. Of course it's low on power. Why wouldn't it be low on power? So we will come back up here. Get back into our regular form. And that's not an elevator, right? You gotta look where you wanna go. And now we need to charge this thing up. Well, capacitor bank will work just fine for that. Throw it in there real quick. It slowly starts charging. Because remember, this is only a basic capacitor bank. It only puts out a thousand RF per tick. So this is going to take just a few moments while this gets charged up. And as soon as it is charged up, we will be able to see what we got. Come on, a little bit more. A little bit more. We're almost there. And there we go. We are fully charged now. Perfect. So like I said, that thing only has a range of uh, 32 meters. So we can come out here and, all right, we have full access. Excellent. But if we come out to say here, uh-oh, wireless out of range. Well, that's not good. We come over here, wireless out of range. We are out of range of our terminal. Now, down here, we should be fine because we're within the 32 block range. Even if we come down to, say, our Thomcraft, we should, in theory, uh, Thomcraft theory, nice. Nope, over here, out of range. However, if we move back, we go back in range. That also means that if we go over to, say, our blood magic area, out of range. I mean, granted, we have a terminal here, but that's not, uh, that's not ideal. So, what can we do to fix that? That's why we built the wireless booster. For each booster that we put in, it increases the range by roughly 2 meters. So let's put in all 18. Now we're up to 68 meters, but we also increased how much RF we use. Instead of using one RF per tick, we're now up to 1.4 RF per tick, but we have a range of 68 meters. 
if I remember correctly, this thing can hold, uh, I believe it's half a stack. So let's go see if we can't make up just a few more of these. Because 68 meters is decent. But it's still not perfect for everything that we want. We want to make sure that, you know, just about anywhere we go in our base, we're going to have access to our wireless network. Yep, out of range there. So, let's go ahead and whip up a few more of those boosters. For that, we're going to need some more ender pearls. And we got nine last time, so we'll put seven in there, see if we get lucky and get an extra. Yeah, well, we got uh, more than just an extra. So let's come over here and our booster. Where did the booster go? Booster. There it is. So let's put that in there. And did a few more of these. Let's see here. We have 18 over there. So that's going to be 22, 32. We'll start there. And see if that's going to be the max number that we can put in. I really want to say it's only a half stack that you can put in. I don't think it's a full stack. But we'll find out. Now there's 96 meters. Uh, but notice how much the energy jumped up. You know, we were down at 1.4. Now we're up to 2.8 RF per tick. So, you know, it is drawing a lot more power to do this. We'll go ahead and we'll come up and make just one more set. Just to do some testing. Like I said, I don't remember if it's a full stack that it can hold or only a half stack. And we will see here. Uh, looks like it's going to be a full stack. All right. So that means we just need to grind up a few more ender pearls. We've got uh, one there, so that'll get us two. Uh, so in total, we need 18. Uh, sorry, 16. And we've already got two, so we really only need 15. So we will grab these guys and put them in and see what we come up with. There's 12. There's 14. And it gave us two there. So we'll pop that in there. So we got 34, 6, 8, 40. 2, 4, 6, 8, 50. And 2, 4, 6, 8, 60. 2 and And that should be a full stack in there. Now this will just totally kill our uh, energy usage here. But there we go. 160 meters, one full stack of wireless boofer, boosters, boofers, wow. Using 40, call it 42 RF per tick. And that's just to run the wireless access point. That does not count everything else that's running off, you know, the the network here. The wireless controller or the uh, ME controllers are taking power for each one that we have. Each one of these computers is taking power. Each one of these assemblers is taking power. So, yeah, that's why we set up our Bido reactor over here was to utilize all of that power potential that this thing has just so that we don't 
you know, run out of power. And of course, you know, this thing is empty now, which means that this should be turning on. Or no, it's not putting out power because it's drawing from the reactor. The reactor just turned on. So let's go upstairs and take a look now at our screen. See how much RF we're actually using right now. Well, actually, it's not too bad. Again, it's primarily pulling from the buffer of the reactor. That's why it's, you know, showing that, you know, we're gaining some, but, but only losing about three off RF per tick. So once that buffer empties, we'll have a lot better idea of how much we're using. But now, no matter where we go, we can have access to our ME system which is absolutely awesome. I missed having this. It's nice to be able to just, you know, throw stuff back in the system. And the site does not go in there. Uh, gravel can go in there. Our cobblestone can go in there. Because that's, remember, all stored in those other barrels which are back down in the ME system. Didn't lost in my own base because, well, still learning or trying to remember where everything is. Yeah, so we got our barrels down here, which are storing everything, voiding everything else that we don't need if we get too much of it. So yeah, that's all working well. And now we can, like I said, go wherever we want and not have to worry about being, you know, real close to a terminal. We can come all the way over here to the far reaches and boom, we have access. If we come over here to say our blood magic where we were having issues before, we can come all the way over here to the other side of the room. Boom, have access. Which also means that we have access to the auto crafting as well, which is definitely nice. You know, we don't have to, it's not like we just can pull stuff in and out. We can tell it to craft stuff up and then pull it out, which is even better because again, we don't want to have to be running back and forth to terminals. And when I was down there working on that room, which I still have not figured out what this room is supposed to be down here or was going to be. I know it's a seven by seven. Uh, it's almost like I was going to set it up to be another spawner, but a spawner for what? I do not remember. But it actually looks like our tank must be full up there because the lights are on. So let's go check that out real quick, see if that actually is the case. Because if that's the case that we've got a full tank, that will be really cool. Uh, excuse me, why am I flying? I didn't tell you to fly. There we go. Perfect, the system is working as intended. The tank got full, the gates tripped on, which turned on the lights and shut down the spawner. That's exactly what we wanted to see. So that is a uh, complete build there for automatic generation of mob essence down the uh, elevator there. Perfect. And of course, we're gonna have to work on ugh, cleaning this thing up and telling it to get rid of junk that we don't want and or need. You know, a lot of this armor can just go uh, the bones, the arrows, uh, we can set up some stuff for that. But yeah, we've, we've got some j trash in here that we need to work on getting cleaned up. Otherwise, the entire system will end up getting backed up, and that's not going to be good. As far as here, two, three, it's only three high. I don't remember if I was going to set it up as a auto spawner. For say Enderman or Blazes or something like that. I like I said, I honestly do not remember. Uh, this would 
tell me here just by the size of this that maybe that's what I was thinking was setting up some sort of automated uh, system so that if we get low on say ender pearls the system will automatically turn on start generating endermen in here they'll get grind up ground up and the ender pearls will go into the system once there's a certain number of ender pearls in the system this system here will shut off keeping a x amount of ender pearls always in stock uh, maybe I was going to do that with blazes I mean we're okay on blaze rods we're okay ish on ender pearls so I don't know actually I may have just wonder if I was going to make this into a wither skeleton spawner because that would make more sense for automated wither killing you know that just uh, maybe what it was going to be because we've only got two nether cubes hmm I'll have to ponder that a little bit and get back to you guys on what exactly because that I know I have done in the past and that was in the plans and maybe that's exactly what this room was for was for the wither skeletons stay to look here in the thalmanomicon see if I have the technology researched in thalmcraft I do the dynamism tablet. Huh. Yeah. This is... I am going to dare say that's exactly what this was going to be, was a way for me to auto-spawn wither skeletons and kill them to keep a certain amount of wither skeleton stalls in stock just so that we can have an endless supply of nether stars of course i mean technically we do already have the endless supply we got the transmutation table we're printing our own money right over here so uh, do we need to set up all of this automation technically no no we don't we're we're good we have everything that we need or to possibly ever want right here in the transmutation table but that's cheaty yeah I'm not gonna lie it's cheaty I love using it it's great for especially building huge huge applied energistic systems uh, very quickly because all you all you need is to start getting the you know the certus courts and stuff like that teach it to the transmutation table and Bob's your uncle, Fan is your aunt. You've got all sorts of good stuff coming your way. But I want to try and get away from that, honestly. And I also want to get rid of this random wood block in the air. Thank you, tornado. There. And I don't want it either. Go away. So, yeah. That's what I'm thinking we will probably end up doing is turning that into a wither skeleton spawner so that we can have this thing up and running and generating withers on a constant basis so that we don't have to worry about killing the withers because there are other ways that we can kill them such as this guy here the draconic evolution mob grinder plus we're going to need the uh, nether stars for resurrecting the end dragon and stuff like that to progress farther into draconic evolution but that is all for a later episode for now guys this has been irish red if you like the episode make sure that you give this 
video a thumbs up if you're not already subscribed please go ahead and hit that subscribe button it helps me and the channel out immensely for everybody who is subscribed thank you very much for all of your support i greatly appreciate it it's been absolutely a whirlwind of a ride and i have i enjoy every moment of it i i really do so if you haven't already turned on those notifications please turn on those notifications by hitting that little bell icon and hit turning them on that way that way you guys can be notified when the newest episodes come out also don't forget that you can contact me on social media facebook.com backslash irish red gaming or you can send me a tweet at irish red gaming on twitter so for now guys this is irish red signing off i will definitely be talking to you guys in the next video see ya